Memories of what I had done were coming back slowly, like the tide washing ashore the rotten corpses from a wreck. Selena was lighter than a pillow. The real weight was all those years of filth stored in my memory. Images. The blade I sunk deep into the stomach of my own mother. Those dark-haired women. Those hated clones of Margaret, split from head to toe as a sacrifice to the moon. Their organs displayed carefully, like some child fresco. Selena on the stage of smoke and mirrors. The glass I used to toast with her. The first time we talked. Her tears. The letters in which she told me about losing her kid. How her husband had been murdered. And our kiss. The blade I used to stab her. My father. And the father of my mother died from the same madness. The same poison that men injected into the economic system they had created. On October 29th, 1929, millions of casualties. The scent of blood. And for the wolves, the beginning of the hunt. Selena's warmth was pulsing slowly in my arms as the dark spot of my culpability was growing over her stomach. In the sky, the moon was watching me, her son, as I was taking my first steps, holding her daughter in my arms. A resurrection. A second chance. Selena was dying. I could tell from her body tightly pressed against me. At times, her eyes would open and stare at me. Not a hint of anger or accusation. She could have let go. Let her light pass. Let my mother take me back. But she was protecting me. She was forgiving me. The moon was silently watching us as we made our last push through the night. Soon, dawn would come. The sun would wash away all that ink which had condemned us. Goodbye, Luna. Goodbye, Mother. This night had been too long already. In nature, forgiveness is part of a whole. It's part of a cycle a time frame of harmony. We had been waiting long enough. I was trying to keep Selena warm as best as I could while she was holding on to my hand. Selena had never really been a part of this world. The full moon was coming to take back one of her lost rays. I was watching her go, wondering if I would ever see her again. Probably a matter of cycle. I could wait. And it was a pretty night.